Sir, please. Look, they promised me, okay? Look, I heard you the first time. I don't know who told you that or who you think told you that, but we don't have any elves in the makeup department. Okay, well, I could be your, like, holly jolly, you know, like, gorilla spritzer. You're my holly jolly elf. Now go play over there. I'm sorry. Play? If you don't know how, that guy right there will show you. Now get to work. No, um... Ho, ho, ho do you do? Um, hello, Mr. Uh, elf person. I'm your holly jolly Jamal. Allison, what are you... Lucy, what is going on here? I don't know, Doc. I'm uh, actually as surprised as you are. Hey, you weren't going to start the party without me, were you? What party? What are you all doing here? I think everybody's here for you, Monk. Well, except everybody here told me they already had plans. Well, we changed them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever plans we had were not as important as being here. Oh, boy, I don't believe this. What Lucy said really sunk in, Kevin, that you were leaving poor Charles. Yeah, we had to try to talk you out of it. It wouldn't be right around here without you. So you can't leave? No, because obviously it would devastate a whole town. It's not that this doesn't mean a lot. It does, but my mind's made up. Well, that's too darn bad, because all of our minds are made up, too. If there's no way we're going to keep you from going, then we're just going to have to hold you here. No, look. I love you for this. But I can't stay. And you're not changing my mind. We all uh, sacrificed our Christmas Eve to be here just with you, mate, because we love you so much. The least you could do is listen to us. He's right. So I am going to go first. And it's about time I did this. Maybe it's just taken way too long for me to say this. But tonight, finally, at last, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about you, Dr. Kevin Collins. I hope you all don't just expect me to stand here and... And take it? We sure do. Now, just park it and suffer. You know as well as I do, you do not fight with Lucy when she has the Christmas spirit because you're not gonna win. Thank you, Alan, and you're right. Okay, Doc, here goes. I guess I'm a little nervous, you know, trying to... That's not true, actually, I'm a lot nervous because I think we all realize that if we don't change your mind here today, then it really is goodbye. You know, uh, uh, no. Doc, I want to do this because I know I wouldn't even be here today being able to tell you anything if it wasn't for you. <laughs> do you remember last month when I was in the hospital and you told me that you thought I had nine lives? Mm -hmm. I realize I do. And the reason I have nine lives is because of you, too. Because you, you taught me how precious life is and how every single day there's a miracle that happens to you and you just have to realize it. And the reason I realize it is be because you have always been there at the right place, at the right time, saying just the right things to me. And I don't happen to be the only person in this room that feels that way.
she's right. If it weren't for you, this guy and I wouldn't be as close as we are today. Yeah. I mean, I'm feeling kind of like you are now. Really mixed up about stuff. Trying to figure out why things happened the way they did. You made me see that I could get through it all. And that makes you pretty cool in my book. You know, I, uh, I kind of hate to have to admit this to your face, but everyone here thinks you're pretty cool, Kevin. And luckily, we're on the clock, so I can't run down the list of all the times that you have come through for me. And called me on being a jerk when needed. Only when you deserve it. So now you're getting what you deserve. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Kevin, you're not going to make us all sing your praises and then walk away, are you? OK, then that settles it. You're staying. Look, look, I appreciate everything you're saying. And it feels really good to at least know I might have made a difference in someone's life. Kevin, you made a difference in the life of every person in this room. Now, wait a second. Maybe I should be the judge of that. Scott. Lucy, if everybody gets to weigh in on Kevin, it shouldn't just be in a room full of friends. I know, but you know... No, no, I'd, I'd like to give him my opinion. Would you like my opinion? Do you think you can handle it? Well, what are you doing here? Look, what do you think I'm doing here dressed like this? Wait, I'm sorry. This is your job? Look, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No jokes. I don't want to hear it, Allie. Wait, jokes? Whoa. Yeah. I have been thinking all week that you are starting to get yourselves in some kind of trouble, all right? And please, you cannot even imagine the stuff that's been going through my oh, head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, please. Nobody can imagine the stuff that was going through your head. Nobody. Right. OK. Yeah. Well, I could never imagine you. I mean. What? Why don't you just say it? Say it, Allie. Go ahead, say it. I'm sorry, tight. See, that's exactly why I didn't tell you. Get your out. No, no, no please. You no. can't quit. Watch me. No, you can't. I can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> what, because I look like a clown, huh? No, is that what it is? No, you look adorable. Don't touch me. You think adorable makes me feel any better? If we're both working, then at least we can be together on Christmas Eve. You know? How romantic is that? Yeah, like this, huh? Not. Okay, well, at so. 12 bucks an hour, it sounds pretty good, you know? Yeah, and I need the cash, too, so. You trying to buy something special, huh? Mm, maybe. Well, how about you and I go spread some of our first Christmas together holiday cheer around, right? All right. Well, make sure you save a little bit for me. Oh, don't you worry. Because mm. I've got plenty of that at home for you. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Hey, boy. What? I thought you were... This isn't real. This comes from us being cooped up in here. We're trying to hold on to something that we can trust. But this isn't it. This... This is... Uh... What? Hard to describe? No, what's hard is knowing that you're going home to a husband who loves you and who misses you very much. Do you really think that we're going to go home if we cure Harris? With all my heart. And I also believe if you look back on this, you'll be glad that you have nothing to apologize for. Hey, you know I'm right, Lambert. Would it do any good to argue with you? No. Merry Christmas from the boss. All right. Oh, that's hard. Don't let a gift horse in the mouth. We can use a little Christmas cheer. Yeah. Yeah, we could. So let's start, uh, start drinking. Some kind of blessings. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think? I think that, uh, it doesn't really look much like Christmas in here, does it? It does. You got candles, you got champagne, you got steak, apparently. Kevin, we haven't always seen eye to eye on things, and well, maybe that's because we're a, 
a lot more alike than we know it. Uh, yeah. You're both, um, really loyal. And stubborn. <laughs> Listen, I don't like to tell people what to do or not do with their lives. I'm just saying that if you don't know how important you are and how much you've mattered around here, then you're working at not knowing that. Listen, Scott. No, Kevin, really... listen to me for a second, all right? You, you get paid to do this. Just give me like a two-minute session. All right, now you helped me get rid of Bordiso when Christina was grabbed. You helped us there, and when Serena lost her eyesight, there you were. And all I did was pretty much yell at you. I never really thanked you, so you do what you want, but just don't go away thinking that you don't matter. You know something, Kevin? Every time I see Robin, it makes me remember what you did for Stone. How you made the end of his life so much better, and how you helped Robin lead such a full life despite the fact that she was HIV positive. But Robin's strength is her own, Alan. You know that. Kevin, you were the one who helped her find her way, as you have with so many people through the years. And not just the faces in this room, but, but all the people that you help every day in your practice. So you can't go. We need you. Mm -hmm. We all need you. She's right, yeah, Kevin. We do. We really do. Uh, look, uh, I don't. I don't know what to say. Excuse me. like a festive holiday dinner, is there? Oh, sure. The only thing is uh, we could use a little atmosphere. You're right. There's no tinsel, there's no inkity-blinky lights. Inkity-blinky what? No strings of popcorn, no mistletoe, no stockings on the fireplace. What fireplace? There's no fireplace. There will be. Here. Put a name on these and then hang them from the mantle. And don't tell me there isn't one. Draw one if you have to. Why well, don't I just draw the stockings, too? Because you can't put sugar plums in two-dimensional stockings. Use your head, woman. And while I am doing this... I'll be trimming the tree. <laughs> oh, there's a tree. I want you to sing some carols while you're at it. Wouldn't hurt. Oh, wait, what if I started singing? No, I can take it if you can. Look at that. All right. There. How's that? Oh, it's perfect. The Christmas spirit is rising in you. And I'm just getting started. By the time I finish decorating this place, the only thing that will be missing will be presents. Well, if it's presents you want, it's presents you'll get. Thornhurt, where are we going to get presents? Lambert. But you know by now I always have something up my sleeve. John Lindstrom, and you're watching SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. Okay, so what's going on? You are not going to believe this. We are locked in here. No, 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 no. I had all these plans for us for Christmas. Well, I, me too. You know, I want to give you the kind of Christmas that you're used to. And I was going to give you the kind of Christmas that you always said that you had when you were a kid. I really hate not giving you all the things you're used to. Oh, you no, know, no, used... no, Jamal, no. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't need any presents to make this evening special, okay? I've got the best one sitting right in front of me. Hmm? You know what I'm thinking? What, that there is some mistletoe up in that ornament up there? No, it's not. <laughs> but there could be with a little imagination. <laughs> starting to imagine that this could be the best Christmas I've ever had. Well, maybe you could uh, imagine a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Doc. Sorry, I just had to get out of there. I was about to lose it. Yeah, I know. I can see that. You know, that happens sometimes when you have people telling you how much you matter to them. It just gets you down, doesn't it? 
You're not going to make this easy, are you? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'm going to fight you every step of the way. I'm going to call out a roadblock if I have to, call the sheriff. I'm going to do anything I can to Lucy. keep you here. I am, Doc. Come on. Mom, is he still Well, we're not I don't know. Listen, everyone, everyone, thank you. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you for taking time out of your lives and your Christmas. And I know what you want me to say, Please. but... Please, look, before you go on, there's something I need to say. Livy. Look, all my life, I wanted to know who my father was. And now you're here. And if there is still a chance that we can be close one day, I would like to have that chance. So I'm asking you to stay, too, just like everybody else. But you're not just anybody else. Look, we just found each other. And just please don't leave. Not now. Please. Please, Dad. Um, look, uh, thank you again. This is, this has been one of the most incredible nights of my life. Yeah, 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 but are you staying, Kevin? Yeah. Doc, come on. Tell us, are you staying? Best Christmas present I ever had. <laughs> you know, I will do absolutely anything for the person or person that I love. Your home, Doc. I am home. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <gasps> hey, everybody, look! Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes closed, I said. They are. Okay. Give me a hand. There. Ian. I want you to have it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I don't have anything for you. How about a dance? No music. You're not listening hard enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear it, Bill. Mm -hmm. I knew you would, Lambert. Mm -hmm. That's what you would say right now if you weren't humming. Mm -hmm. This is a magical time, Ian. Don't you realize I've fallen in love with you? Don't you feel it? Oh, God, Eve. I couldn't make love to you. Not after the deal I made with Harris. One day you'll understand that I loved you enough to give my life for yours. Charles. I know who killed Eve. 
Ian, what's going on out here? Did you make some kind of a deal that I'm not aware of? Listen, there was something else I wanted to... Say, you watch my back, Collins? Huh? You're just like the rest of them. Lucy, don't move. Admit it. The day is never complete without your daily dose of Erica Kane and all my children. Eventually, Erica will settle down and find someone special again. But is it today? You're going to have to watch and find out. Luckily, All My Children is coming up next here on SoapNet. Mm -hmm.